Registrar's got to go. Says he's playing squash. Squash? Go on, charm and vicar. I never trusted her. Carla, you threw her a pamper party the other day. She'll be having a wobble, that's all. She's no right having a wobble. She should be marrying my son. Do you want to go in there and see if she's all right? Want to, yes. But could I offer a positive contribution? I doubt it. No, I must wait and hope for a happy outcome. What do you think's happened? You thought they were dead happy together. Uh, where the hell were you? I've not missed it. Where's Carla? They're in the kitchen talking. I, I don't think so. She just stopped it. Right at the altar. Whatever it is, just say it. I mean, it can't be that bad, can it? I know what this is. This is typical Carla. Can't let herself be happy. Can't let someone love her. You know, is always looking for a way to destroy things. I slept with someone. What? I slept with someone. It was a one-off. It was a mistake. I was drunk, but it happened. Who? I still want this, Nick. I, I still want us uh, to... You, you, uh, who was it? Honestly, I've been tortured. I, I'm... Who? Tell me. Robert. This gusset. Extra practice has been useful. Please say something. <sighs> but he's laughing his head off, isn't he? Me and here talking about our wedding menu. Nobody's laughing. Oh, how many volavants, you know, how much cheese? He regretted it afterwards just as much as. Don't that. you dare tell me how he felt afterwards! Don't you dare! So when was it? Weeks ago, months. It doesn't matter, it was me. Okay, enough. you pushed me to sell him the bistro. Yes, I did. Okay, so what was that? What was that? What was that? Compensation? No, it was because Tracy. Well, this wasn't about us, was it? It wasn't about us selling up, leaving. Yes, it was. It was about you and me, a new life together in Devon. This was about everything that I wanted. This is everything that I want. Why tell me now? Today, you know, just as we're going to get married. Because I can't live with this knot. I can't stand in front of everybody out there who really cares about me and keep hating myself for this. I need you to forgive me. Start again.
just thought, Carla, you don't deserve this. You don't deserve him. How did I not see it? Huh. I didn't let you see it. I'm such an idiot. I'm the idiot. I'm the idiot. I should have told you straight away and begged you for forgiveness, but... I think I am begging your forgiveness now. I want to be with you in 50 years' time, sitting on a rocking chair in some veranda in Devon, and I want to turn to you and say... You see, you were right to give me you're right to believe in us. Please. Please. Give me that chance, Nick. Go. Please. Leave me alone. And go. I won't give up on us. I can't. I can't. I'm going to go out. Out there, I'm going to wait for you. Dress for putting the bins out, are you? Stay a bit. Delicate little arrangements. Just delicate little plates. Now here, chaos. Yeah, it was a busy day, innit? it? Catering for the wedding. As long as it's pretty in there, eh? No matter what mess he leaves behind. Hey, what's happened? She really that stupid. This close to getting everything she wanted. Not everyone's like you, Robert. Get what you want at all costs. You and Tracy make a great couple. Well, Michelle, it's not. I'm going to go and see what's going on. No, Gail. Let David talk to him. She should be over here explaining herself, not sat there like Cruella de Vil with a migraine. Well, she looks proper dramatic. Stop that. <clears throat> today is not the end of the story. It's, it, it's a day. Whatever the outcome of this event, tomorrow the story will continue. <laughs> so do not allow despair to take hold, Carla. Patience is perhaps the most judicious approach right now. Said it was a mistake. She wants to be with you. Good for her, apparently. Good for her. You make it sound like a bad thing. Yeah, I think she's just kidding herself. I'm her time, you know. Kidding herself with me. Well, I wish she's always her type, you know. Safe, and stable, aren't I? You know, she says all the right things, but she's always gonna want blokes like Peter, Robert. I'm just a detox for what she really craves. Or maybe she just messed up. Yeah, that's what she said. One off. Yeah. Hates herself. Won't happen again. Could be true. Happened months ago, apparently. Months and months and months of whispering in corners, you know, getting their stories straight. Secret looks between them. No, come on, you don't know that. Yeah, of course I do. They slept together, for God's sake. 
Well, you've done worse. I've done worse? I've done... No, you're going to do this now. Now! Yeah. I've done worse with Kylie. Is that what you're going to say? Yeah. You did, Nick. But I got over it. Like, you, you might not think it, but you do. All right, are, are you still after Kylie now? Exactly. You see, it, it was a one-off. That was a one-off. I don't think it was a one-off. What, you think she's lying? No. <sighs> I don't know. Do you love her? Because <laughs> if she's telling you the truth... If. If. If you still love her... It might be worth another chance. To eat. Do you know what? You're lucky I've got my hands full or you'd be licking that floor. Oh. Uh, do we just have a go? Yeah, it wants a bit, uh, you know. Yeah, well, it's hardly our fault, is it? David, did Nick not say what it was about? Uh, he, he just needs a minute to get his head together. If he's having doubts, he should cover it off. Hello? Who? Ah, uh, Rita, you're right, love. Rita, what is she? <sighs> the factory alarm's going off. It'll be now. <laughs> Alex is in a right tangle. I've got three missed calls and a jumbled up message. Something's happened. Kathy, you get off, love. I think this circus is over now, anyway. I'll stay here if that's acceptable. She needs you. She's lucky to have you. Um, the wedding is, well, as you might have gathered off, my fault, completely. Nick deserves better than me, and uh, he... Well, he's just... He's gentle and, and gorgeous and loving. Let's get married. Oh. <laughs> Outside, I said. But, I mean, there's no fire, is there? Because you'd smell it, wouldn't you? <laughs> Should you have switched that noise off? What, the alarm on? He ate his pop. Hello? Uh. Hello? Let me out of here! You are next! I call a Connor. Take you, Nicholas Paul Tilsley to be my lawfully wedded husband. To be loving and faithful and loyal for the rest of our lives together. Nicholas. I, Nicholas Paul Tilsley, take you... Where are we? Whoa, just rewind. Mum. Look, have I missed objections? You know, Awful impediments. It, lawful impediments. Tracy, what on earth? No, no, no. It's fine now. Let's have a moment. No, Nick, don't. Oh, it's OK. She can't hurt us now, can she? Come on, please. Um, if any person present knows of any lawful impediments to this marriage, they should declare it now. Yeah, I do. That slag slept with my boyfriend. Oh, oh Lord. Slept with Robert. It is lawful, Tracy. Making a mistake isn't illegal. What? What do you know? Yeah. Sorry to uh, rain on your grenade. 
but the only person who's showing up is yourself. So, if you've got nothing more to say, I'd let's get on with my wedding. Oh, no, I've got plenty to say. I mean, what sort of idiot are you, Nick? She has lied, and she's lied! OK, OK, uh, you can go now. Out. Right, so what happens now, then? I mean, are you going to marry a liar and a cheat? And then what, move to Devon? Do you know, she never wanted to go to Devon, Nick. It was me that told her to go. It was me that made you sell the bistro to Robert. I wanted us to start our new lives together. Look, did she tell you that she gave us money so that Robert could afford it? Did she tell you that? No, she didn't, did she? You see, she will never stop lying. Yeah, I'll give her the money. So it's true? Yes. Yeah, it's true. I would have told you, I would have told you every detail, and I will. It's just, it's... There's nothing new in it. This is part of that one same mistake. Do you know that she'll say anything? She doesn't love you, Nick. She only loves herself, and you know what? that. Enough! Nick. Get off! What? Get off me, Robert! Oh, stay with me. Robert! Stay with me, baby. We've got our whole future ahead of us. OK, don't let her poison that, because no matter what lies I might have told, there's one thing that will always be the truth, and that is that I love you. You don't have to do this, Nick. I love you. OK. I, Nicholas Paul Tilsley, take you, Carla Connor, to be my lawful wedded wife. These will look stunning with your colouring. Uh, no. Honestly, this one's going to be fine, honest. Feel this fabric. I'll hang them here. This one's in the sale. Is it not a bit big? Well, I can try and take it in a bit. Mm. Wow, that is gorgeous. Just try them on both of them. Have you seen the price? So it'll look great. Listen, you can just take photos and show the girls. We'll have to buy them. I'm proud to call you my daughter. I'm proud now to call Nick my son-in-law. I know he'll look after you. I'm not saying you need it, but he'll be good for you. I wish my beautiful daughter a long and happy marriage. To Carla and Nick. Carla and Nick. Now, um, before the main event, the best man's speech, with my hilarious tale of the vacuum attachment involving Nick Tilson. <laughs> I give you the groom. Uh, six months ago, something uh, incredible happened to me. The woman I'd fallen in love with walked into my bistro and out of the blue asked me to marry her. <laughs> Well, technically, I didn't walk in. You actually had me waiting tables, so... <laughs> hey? You all right? Was it then? Months ago, was it then? Is, is that why you proposed? No, don't. No, no, tell me. No, it wasn't. The truth. That is the truth. Nick, I'm not lying to you, I promise. That's the truth, and this is over now. Let's just not do the speeches, it's too stressful. Weeks and weeks of lying. Please don't let what Tracy said. Then I ask you a question. And I'm telling you the truth. How do I know? You look me in the eye, and it looks the same. The lies and the truth. Sweetheart, sit down. I don't know, Grant. I don't know. Hey, is it? Is he ahead again? What, what do you mean? Again? Nick, please. Okay, Grant. 
What colour is this? What? What, what colour? What, what colour is it? What colour is it? Nick, it's white. It's white. OK, right. Tell me it's red. Baby, you don't make any sense. I need to see you lie. Come on. Come on. Tell me it's red. Come on. Say it. You get upset, you sleep with the chef. You gamble away the factory. You drink yourself into oblivion. You lie to me. I just want to get in the car and drive and drive and drive. I did this. The book stops with me. This weekend, the British Soap Awards are on Sunday night here on ITV. Don't forget to vote for your favourite soap on the website. So next is decision time as nine hopeful acts are looking for a place in the final. The live results from Britain's Got Talent are in just a second.